what if Minecraft added more dimensions? What would they look like? And how would you find them? Well, today, we're gonna take a look at nine dimensions that I would want added to Minecraft. Welcome to the Bumble Zone! This fuzzy V dimension is dripping with sweetness and danger in equal measure. New mobs can be found around every sticky corner. There's the honey slimes, which can be bottled for some honey, though it tends to rub them the wrong way. Then there's the behemoth. This buff boy can be tamed with honey or sugar and then saddled up for a wild ride. And the more you feed them, the faster they'll buzz. Yeah! And we cannot forget the bee queen. If you're nice enough, she'll actually trade you some pretty sweet items. Well, up until you get on her bad side. The buzz, 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 buzz. Because then it's an all out boss battle. Now, was it something I said? There's also too many blocks to count. We've got crystallized honey blocks that glow and turn water into sugar water. And that sugar water, it's like rocket fuel for your sugar cane. There's also liquid honey for healing your bees and crystalline flowers, which are truly incredible as they can be fed XP or items to grow and enchant your books and tools with some sweet magic. I haven't even mentioned the six biomes and 19 new structures to explore. From hanging gardens to dungeons, there's something for everyone, even a dance floor. Okay, yeah, flap those wings! Woo! Now let's go to a realm deep below even the nether. To get here, you'll need to craft a portal from rare depth rock bricks found in the nether's bastions and fortresses. Once built, you're on your way to the deep nether. There are 12 unique biomes, from the frigid cold of the frost fields and tranquil beauty of the groggle growths, to the eerie allure of the Vale mushroom box. There's twice as much to see when compared to the nether. And the locals? Well, they're a mixed bag. Take the muncher, for example. This guy has a big appetite chomping on blocks and healing itself in the process. <sighs> ah, are you never satisfied? <laughs> Then there's the Stoneborn. Friendly enough if you've got some regalium to trade, though sometimes their goods seem a little bit shady. Ever heard of a blister bomb? Fire in the hole! And don't get me started on the rockworms. These critters will pelt you with pebbles from a distance, then run away if you fight back. Someone who won't run away though, is the mini boss of the deep, the Forgotten Guardian. Silent as a statue until you get too close. Then it's game on. Hey, buddy, pal, <laughs> what's the big deal? I just want to steal all your things. Now, for those looking for a real challenge, you might want to check out the giant dimension. This is a world where everything is supersized, and you're the only one who's staying the same size. Whoa, talk about a growth spurt. <laughs> Cue the laugh track. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. It was a good joke. This dimension is not for the faint of heart. It's a challenge that makes even hardcore Minecraft look like a walk in the park. And the locals? Well, let's just say they're not as friendly as they used to be. Even the passive mobs see you as an easy target. Whoa, hey buddy, I'm not a seed. I'm not a seed. I'm not a seed! And these giant mobs pack a punch. They deal increased damage and can instantly kill you if they're strong enough. <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> ah, that's right. I forgot that fall damage is increased because of my size. But don't worry. You can still craft almost every normal item. However, these tools won't work the way you think. It's a whole new experience when the blocks are this big. I think I'm gonna need a bigger pickaxe. And trust me, you'll wanna stick to the inside of blocks as much as possible. It's the best way to avoid those giant creatures. Whew, <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Oh no! Oh, oh, thank goodness. I seem to have respawned in a normal size dimension. Wait, what is that sound? Oh my, it's the skibbity dimension. This is a war-torn world where toilets and cameramen are locked in an internal struggle. Oh, huh, talk about a weird war. The best part, you get to pick a side. Will you help the cameramen defeat the skibbity toilets? Or will you join the skibbities and sing your way to victory? I, I don't know. Once you've picked a side, you can become one of them. I guess weirder things have happened. And the more you fight, the cooler the upgrades you can get. There are two upgrades per side that you choose, each getting crazier and crazier. But the real question is, can you defeat the boss of your foes and win the war? Once you reach your max potential, you can challenge the boss of the other army. Well, here goes nothing. For the cameras! Now this dark and mysterious abyss dimension is teeming with terrifying creatures and mind-blowing loot, like the totem of time. 
When you're low on health, it stops time, giving you a chance to escape or finish off your attacker. <laughs> now stay there and think about what you've done. Then there's the mutated ender pearl. It's like if an ender pearl was dialed up to 11. Oh, oh, look how far I can throw it. Yeah, <laughs> any second now. There are also magic rings, and they are powerful. Invisibility, thunder, and eagle. Ah, uh, eagle eyes, uh, I get it. Oh, oh, but the armor, the armor. We've got bone armor, now fashionably worn by zombies, and phantom armor, which is even stronger than netherite. Even so, beware. Down here lie dangerous, creepy crawlies like slime spiders and scorpions. Then there's the Roka, a mutated piglin brute. It just hates everything, especially incredibly smart scientists. And the Nightblade, he's a boss mob that wields two swords, can teleport, and even clone himself to confuse players. Oh no, how do I know which one's the real doofus? <laughs> now the biomes are both beautiful and terrifying. Crazy what you'll find. Not to mention the caves, filled with awesome new ores to craft with. Jackpot! I know I can't be the only one looking for more dragon variety in Minecraft. So enter the dragon dimension. This is a realm of mighty dragons and unimaginable loot, accessible only to those who've beaten the game. By locating the gatekeeper's house, you will find a portal made of these strange blocks. Lighting this using the zeal tool will allow you to travel to this mystical land. Dragons roam freely here, powerful and majestic. They sometimes clash with each other, causing destruction far and wide. Talk about a clash of the titans. But these dragons aren't always terrifying beasts. They actually start off as tiny babies that slowly grow up. Aren't you just the cutest little terror? And the best part? You can tame and ride these dragons. All you need is a dragon command staff crafted from the remains of a fallen dragon. I always dreamed of riding a dragon. And don't forget to equip your dragon with armor. It'll give them extra protection in combat. Hey, looking good, buddy. But there's more to this world than just dragons. There are dungeons to explore and villages to loot, filled with treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Oh yeah! Time travel is finally here, and your journey to the dinosaur dimension begins at the forbidden Temple of Time. Before I can escape my many enemies, however, this good boy needs to dig up enough time gem shards to repair the portal. But once you have enough shards, then you've earned your ticket to the land of the dinosaurs. And there are just too many to count, from the friendly leaf-munching Triceratops and the sharply defensive Ankylosaurus to the deadly Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hey, dude, that's not what you're supposed to sound like. Okay, sheesh. Jumping back to the Ankylosaurus, you can even craft a brand new armor set from its materials. It's both stylish and tough as nails. You can even trade dinosaur meat with these guys in their cave villages. I don't think this is a fair trade. Fair, totally fair. This buyer has no remorse. You can also dig up fossils to decorate your overworld base. Collect them all and show them off to your friends. Thank you, thank you. For those wishing to explore outer space, look no further than the galactic dimension. You can create a galactic portal using 12 waxed copper blocks, 12 waxed cut copper stairs, four blocks of amethyst, four amethyst clusters, one gold block, and one flint and steel. This is a realm that mimics the vast expanse of outer space, complete with a large moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for Minecraft. This dimension is home to 12 different biomes, each with its own unique features. And the gravity? It's different here, making it easy to traverse the landscape. Yeah! But watch your step. Floating islands are scattered all over this dimension, and one wrong move could be your last. But the treasure? Oh, it's worth the risk. Inside the brain forest is a sight to behold. Trees made from gold, iron, and copper, actively trying to shock players who approach them. Ouch! But they're a great source of overworld materials. Score! Then there's the mycotic forest, home to strange mushroom-like flowers. These can be placed in midair and combined with gravity, make it easy to traverse space. How is this even possible? It defies all science. This is awesome. Ah! <laughs> And don't forget to explore the other biomes. So much to see, so little time. Ever wanted more powerful enchantments? Well, after beating the game, return to the stronghold, and then you'll notice a special enchantment table that is spawned in the library room. 
Clicking this table will now send you to a strange place. This mysterious dimension is a labyrinth made entirely of books. As you traverse the maze, you'll notice that books begin to swarm you. A small hint as to what lies in the center. Because at the central opening, you'll find the keeper of the maze guarding this place fiercely. This large, deadly flying book is not to be trifled with. I love reading as much as the next guy, but this is a little crazy. The keeper will stop at nothing to destroy anyone who dares enter the maze. Oh, easy there, big guy. But if you can defeat the keeper, the rewards are beyond your wildest dreams. Oh, what do we have here? The keeper drops a random enchantment book that can be equipped in an anvil. And these aren't your everyday enchantments. We're talking Fortune 4, Protection 6, even Mending 2. Now that's what I call a power-up. So grab your gear, adventurers, because the endless maze is waiting for you.